Y'all, summer is here, the sun is here, and that means you gotta wear the sunscreen. So, sunscreen is the single most important thing for the skin to prevent cancer, sun damage, and aging skin. Still, a lot of people don't use it or don't use enough of it. I know there's a jungle with so many different sunscreens out there, and really, what should one pick? So I tried five different sunscreens so you don't have to, and of course you're cruelty free, I mean you don't even have to ask. Sunscreen is super important, you have to use it for your face every single day without hesitation, even though it is cloudy or if it's snowing. It is super important to prevent that sun damage, to prevent that skin cancer or that wrinkles and whatnot. It's kind of hard to know how much sunscreen you are supposed to use, like a general rule of thumb is that you use 1.5 milliliters to your whole face. I have a measuring spoon that I use every single day, but you can also use the two finger way. You just apply the sunscreen onto your two uh, index and middle finger and then you just apply it to your whole face. And also reapply it every two hours. I mean, if you're inside, you do not really have to apply it every two hours. Also apply it way more frequently if you are swimming or sweating a lot. And First we got Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid Broad Spectrum, Spectrum, Spectrum SPF 50. Now you may have noticed that this one is super tiny, this bottle. It is 15 milliliters, 0.5 ounces and it costs 15 euros. Now that is insane, this is a lot. If you want a big one, um, the 60 milliliter 2 ounces, that is. 35 euros now that is a lot you know i don't think i will buy like the big one because there's so much more affordable sunscreens out there and uh, this girl she ain't got a lot of money i think it's pretty well known that paula's choice uh, is cruelty free and that is super nice you know we are here for the cruelty free you know this one is for normal and oily combination now my skin is pretty dry but i find that it is working also on my skin. It is quite liquidy and it feels good on your skin, it soaks in nicely. Also, Paula's Choice, they're lip and bun certified and that is pretty great. All right, this one kind of works like a moisturizer also. Uh, and also it was quite lightweight, it feels good on my skin. This one is a fun one, we got Evie. Daily Defense Face Mousse Blue Light DNA High SPF Protection 50. And this one, I mean, they got a lot of stuff here at the bottom. It is UA, UVB, UVA, 5 stars, PA++++. Now that is a lot of things that every protects you for. You wanna avoid that skin cancer, right? This is funny because it is a mousse and you just apply it into your palm about the golf ball size and apply it to face and your neck. You kind of find it sticky and it takes uh, a while to apply it to your face. Uh, maybe because it's just so fluffy and uh, you have to like butter into your skin. Every day are cruel to free also. Do not test on animals. I don't I do not think they are like that much into your face about it, but just so you know, cruel to free stuff. That's great. All right, so this one every it is, what is it? 75 milliliters and it is 15 euros and uh, that's quite cheap and uh, that's great not like Paula's choice we got Sunbum SPF face 50 water resistant 80 minutes UA UVB protection shake it up and yeah now Sunbum they are pretty known for their environmental and the reef and the corals and the animals and basically for the whole planet, they're pretty known to fight for it. Now, this one is pretty hyped in the internet communities. It got a nice consistency and it sucks in nicely into your skin. But I did find that when I was sweating a lot, I was outside enjoying and I find that it kind of burned my eyes. But maybe that's because I like, applied way too near my eyes. But except for that, this one was pretty great, you know. So when I use it next time, I'm not gonna apply it way too near my eyes, so... That's that. Now this one comes in 88 milliliters, uh, 3 ounces, and it costs 12.99. It's a SPF of 50, and I prefer to have 50 on my face. And I know it doesn't matter that much if you go from 30 to 50, but I prefer 50. 
he feels more protected, all right? Not shiny, but that's like basically all the sunscreens. Uh, basically, like kind of shiny on your skin. Next up, we got the ordinary mineral UV filters SPF 30 with antioxidants. The ordinary, they are pretty known for their affordable skincare. They got acetic acid, they got the retinols, they got AHA, BHA, and whatnot, and of course. They do not test on animal but this one it makes it look like a ghost and my skin turns super white i mean my hand was way more darkened than my skin and that looks so funny i had to put on some makeup uh, i usually do not wear foundation because i want to let my skin breathe my skin kind of feels protected um so that's good still this one was the only sp30 i got because the ordinary do not have anything higher ordinary as usual do not test on animals they are super against that and that is super nice i love that more and more brands are thinking about the environment and the animals and how the consumerism is impacted by all of this and that is super nice so next one this one is also a bit funny this is the garnier ombre solaire over makeup super uv protection mist spf 50 works on makeup all right, how cool is that? Uh, this is a spray that you spray on your face and then it just settles onto your face. You can have makeup and uh, it still works, you know? But I find that since this is a spray, it's kind of hard to know how much you're supposed to apply. I just kind of go crazy and spray it into all my face. Now, Garnier is also a uh, super nice brand. It just turned cruelty free, so that is nice. I do believe they tested on animals before, but no they don't, and uh, that's great because this one is big in Europe, Garnier. That's all the sunscreens I tested for you. If I have to choose one of them, I think it would be the sun bum. That's just basically because it's easy to apply, it sinks into your skin, and also they think about the environment, think about the animals, and they are super passionate about that. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe for more cruelty-free content. And yeah, see you in my next video. Bye-bye!